welcome back to my youtube channel it's Dawn here so sorry about this it'll go blurry because um this is a white um background so my uh camera always seems to like blur if i don't put sink in the way and because i had my hands out of the way it was blurry so yeah hello welcome so i have this um light display thing um so i'm just going to i was told that if i sorry put my hand there if i keep my thumb on it it should go in different brightnesses yeah there we go so i thought it only had one setting no you've got to leave your thumb down and yeah so that's it on it um on the thing yeah how cool is that so what i thought i'd do because i have a couple of um diamond art paintings that i would like it to do um so what i was thinking was now i don't know where i put my clips um i haven't got a clue where they are so i do oh i have the right there i popped them on a card so that i would yeah um so i wouldn't lose them and yeah lo and behold she loses them so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna uh pop this on here like that um I, do you know i think it could have done with a few more of the clips um i think that would have been nice so i am going to bring in my own clips as well um just to go around um just to keep it on really so yeah just like this so i think it could have done with about six clips um but yeah but yeah what i thought i'd do is um i would do this so i got this given i can't remember who sent me actually um i want to say um it was um crafty leaks i think or did I, I, I do you know what i either bought it or it was given i really can't remember so if you did give me it please let me know so that i can give you the credit um so yeah so i thought what we'll do i am going to put this on speed up because i don't think you want me to uh, this is going to take me quite a few hours i think to do so i'm just going to pop on um some oh what do you call it some music um and i'm just going to sit and do this going to let you know at the end once i've done it how i feel about it and if um yeah if i like it i must admit i can see all of the numbers perfectly which is a fab um so yeah so put it on speed up i hope you enjoy i did ask if you'd like me to do some diamond art painting on my channel and i had i did have quite a few people say yes please so um yeah here we are i really do hope that you enjoy so yeah see you in a bit
Okay, so I'm all finished. Um, so let's take this off so that you can see it. Um, now, my opinions on the board, absolutely love it. I think this is the first time I've ever done one of these. Let me just turn that off. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Um, and pop that just off to the side. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever done a diamond art painting without having to go back and get some numbers um, because I always seem to always miss a couple of numbers. So right at the end, I have to go back through all my beads and put them on. I didn't do that this time um, because I could actually see all of the numbers quite clearly um, and I could see if I had missed some. So um, yeah, for that, it's absolutely brilliant. The one downside that I am gonna say about having the light box is when I've got my beads in here um, and I'm doing it, I can't see if they're the right way up, so I'm sort of guessing. Um, but I'd rather do that than miss any and have to go back. Oh, it feels amazing. Um, how beautiful is that? Do you know what I'm gonna do with this? I think I'm gonna put it on a book and make a book cover out of it, because that not that just beautiful? Um, and it feels, feels amazing. Really feels dead nice. Um, so yeah, so definitely going to use it again for when I do my diamond art painting because like I said, I could see the numbers quite clearly. Um, I had no issues. Now, um, as I was doing it, I was sort of going here, there and everywhere with the beads just because I wanted to see how, um, if, how good the light was for if, um, instead of just going one side going all the way down and up and down making sure I didn't miss any but you know what we can only test this if we just do it randomly so I did um, and like I said I'm really really pleased with how it's turned out I'm loving the fact that I haven't had to use any like I haven't had to go back with to any of the previous beads to fill in they've all fit in perfectly so yeah um I like it I really really like it I love I actually really like it for this. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming for drawings as well. It's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be amazing for that. So if I wanted, for instance, um, get some. Let's get some watercolor cardstock. Uh, let's see how this how it works. And I have a stamped image here. So let's bring the light back on. Um, make it brighter. So to make it brighter, we hold it down. And look at that. This is watercolor cardstock. Look at that. We can trace that quite easily. That's a thinnish. Um, I don't think we'll be able to see it through this one. This is a 300 um, GSM one. So, yeah, I doubt we can see. We'll be able to see the image through that. But let's, you know, actually, you do know what? How cool is that? So this is 300 GSM watercolour cardstock. So if I didn't want to, um, if I wanted to trace something, how cool is that? It actually goes through. So, um so obviously we'd have to have it quite bright so um i like the fact so with this one you have to hold your finger on the button and it gives you all the different lights which i think is just so cool so yeah so we can still see it through how cool is that and like i said that is actually using um 300 gsm watercolored car stock so yeah um loving this definitely um i would definitely say you know it, i think this was 17.99 and me personally i think it was worth it um there are cheaper ones that actually could work just as well so um yeah just have a look around and just sort of see what there is um but thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed me doing this um, diamond art painting. Um, I, like I say, I love it. We will come back on again and we're going to do something with her. Um, so the last time I did a diamond art painting, painting online, I made, let me grab it, because I did actually make a book out of it. And we did Lady and the Tramp and it is my book i don't think there's oh yeah i'm just trying to draw faces um and then i've got butterflies and flowers and a few other bits in there so um yeah so i turned that into a little sketchbook for myself um so this one i think we're going to just use it as a color let me pop that back on my shelf 
Um, okay then, that is it for today guys. Thank you again for being with me. Please do give a big thumbs up. I will leave a link in the description box below to the light um, box if you want to um, purchase it. But like I say, I, I don't, there might be a cheaper version out there. Um, but that is it. Thank you again. And until next time, please do stay safe and happy crafting. Bye.